FNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. Dow's down 110 at 35,754 at this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this 28th day, Monday of March. And we're looking at the Dow um, having made that requisite in the Chapman Wave methodology, leg D to the upside on Friday. The S&P did exactly the same thing, except the Dow is showing some weakness today, and the S&P is showing some strength. It's up at a higher high in leg D at uh, 45.48. It's already gone to 45.52. Point 76, the QQQ. Uh, that's where the story is. Up 2.89, up 0.8%, one of the better percentage movers. And at 362.24, trying to push away from the 200 period moving average and the resistance. So far, this is good. It's only a leg B. Is it going to go to a C and a D by Friday, this coming Friday? Oh, that's going to be so important. Looking at that weekly, monthly candle for all the different indices. IWM, the Russell 2000, stuck in a trading band. It's down at one at 205. But now look at this. Gold has pulled back very sharply. It's down 19 at 1935, still holding extremely well from that big takeoff from the 1800 area. Screams up to 2078. I must just double check to see if it gets smoothed out because this is a continuous contract. So the price, nothing changes except the price. Yep, 2078.8. Yep, that's the same thing. On the 8th of March, uh, cascades down to just under 1900. I suspect it's in a trading band sideways, making the dreaded H. The H pattern does it hold an F side low, going go under 1890, or does it find some support here to start a leg C at the 1968 level? We're looking at uh, crude oil. What a move! Crude oil is down eight and a half at 105.32. I've been saying that crude oil under 106 gets that pattern that we call the lowercase h pattern, the dreaded h pattern. And you've got to be careful because 103 is the next key support to 100. It breaks that and it goes down quite a bit more. So uh, hopefully so. We want to see crude oil down. We're looking at the TLT. And this is important. Question came up. Is this a turnaround in the TLT to the upside and the TBT, the inverse, to the downside? My answer is, I think so. Just as a counter chain move, as, as a kind of a bounce, yeah, so that yields can pull back a little bit. Uh, but it might be short-lived at this particular point because that monthly chart has taken out the left side low of 133.19. So stay tuned. You've got a live press event coming up. Remember, Tommy O'Brien Jr. starts us off. 9 o'clock, uh, market kickoff every day, every market day. Great programming all the way through to Tom O'Brien wrapping it up at 3 o'clock. Stay tuned. Live press event is coming up. Great programming. I'll see you tomorrow. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.